right, Steelers, we are a little bit stuck in the middle with you. This is a really fun bass line. You're gonna like playing it and you're gonna learn it in no time. I am Finbar, Finbar Bass. All right, so what are those lessons all about down there when you click in the YouTube text box right down there? You should definitely do that if you haven't already. There are some really fun lessons uh, for beginners on there. There's one for intermediate, for more advanced players. Uh, for instance, there's a lesson on the floating thumb technique, right? Which is a cool right hand, or actually a uh, plucking hand technique, I should say. If you're lefty, it'll be your left hand. Right hand, righty, you'll probably be your right hand. But it's a way to mute the strings out, to keep your hand in a natural position. It's the way that I play bass. I love it a lot. It's not the only way, of course, but these tips and tricks can kind of catapult you sort of like into the next level, make your playing sound more professional and make those notes really ring out. Um, it's helped a lot of people out. And that's just one of the lessons, you know, that's just an example. But it's basically, again, about, you know, having fun, getting better on the bass and playing some music. All right, the first time you're going to hear the bass come in in this song is by way of a little introduction. Just like that. So you're going to hit the fifth fret of the A string, second fret of the E, third fret of the E, and then fifth fret of the E, and then second fret of the A string. Very simple. I'll do it slow. So what you're doing there is you're hitting the uh, fifth fret of the A string twice. And then the next time you hit it, it's like a ghost note, right? You're almost, you almost just hit it real quick or you could just ghost it, right? The ghost note means that your finger is on it, but it's not pressing down. It's just like hanging there lightly on the string. And you just make use it to make a clicking sound there. You hardly even notice it, but it does keep it rolling and it keeps it funky. And you know, you always want to keep it funky. So we got. So what you're doing is hit it the fifth fret twice, a little ghost note or a little quick note. Second fret of the E, fifth fret of the E, second fret of the A string, and then fifth fret of the E. Not A, but E. So I'll do it slow. Just like that. And then you're gonna hear this. What's that, right? Well, right to there it's the same. What I just showed you, but then you're gonna do back to the fifth fret of the A string. And then to the third fret, right, of the A string, hit another ghost note there, and you got Right, what we showed you before, you're gonna hit the ghost note and then second, fifth on the E, second on the A, and then fifth on the E again. Right? So if I do that all together, like how he does it right in the very beginning of the song here. Just like that. Now, when you go into the lyrics of this song, it's going to sound like this. So when you go into the lyrics of the song, it's going to sound like this. And you do that twice, so. Just like that. So then you're gonna hear it rise a little bit. You're gonna hear the pitch rise. And you're gonna go to the fifth fret. So you were on the fifth fret. This is like, you know, mirroring what happens on the fifth fret of the uh, A string. Now you're on the fifth fret of the uh, D string, you know? It's a normal movement in blues songs and such. What I'm doing there is you're gonna hit this twice. Do a little ghost note. Second, then third of the A, fifth of the E, and then fifth of the A, and then and you're back to this again. So I'll do it slow. And then from there, you're gonna do something really cool. So you're gonna hit the fifth fret of the A string, fifth fret of the um, D, 
and then back to the fifth fret of the A string. And you can even let those ring because they're actually, they sound pretty cool together when you let them ring. So you got the second fret of the E and the fifth fret of the E. So I play that all together. And then you're back into that part again on the fifth fret of the A string. All right, and that part right there is when he starts singing the chorus. You're going to hit the 5th fret of the E string twice, 4th fret of the A string twice. Then you're going to hit the 2nd fret of the D and then 4th fret of the A. So it looks just like this. Right? Clowns to the left of me. And then you're going to hit the 3rd fret of the A string and then you're going to do this chromatic climb. 2, 3, 4, and 5 on the uh, D string. Right? And then you're going to hit the 5th fret and the 2nd fret of the A. And the part, right, just where he's saying please, please, you got, um, you're just going to hit this 5th fret of the um, D string. You're going to kind of be just rolling on that 5th fret of the uh, D string. Uh, you're going to hit it 8 times and then 7 times, not quite 2 measures, 1 measure and then 7 hits. And then you're going to hit the... Um, fifth fret of the A string and then fifth fret of the E string. All right, you got it, yo, stuck in the middle with you. Super fun song and you are gonna like playing it. Anyway, click down in the YouTube text box right down there if you wanna get my DVD set on Amazon, if you feel like getting that, or if you wanna get those lessons, if, if free lessons not on YouTube, you can always subscribe to Finbar Bass and have fun with it, yo.